Hey guys, Zach with uh, Edwards Garage here today. We're going to be showing you this 2018 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Uh, it was bought here originally. It was a local trade, so we have a full record of service history. Let's take you for a walk around the outside and point some things out. Uh, alloy wheels. Obviously, it's got the Neato aftermarket uh, HD 10-ply tires. Heavy-duty rubber mud flaps, smoke vent visors, uh, GM chrome running boards. Along the bottom, like most our GM HD trucks, you'll see, it might not show up in the video, but it's got the rock guard sprayed along the bottom, as well as plastic in areas to stop it from rock chips. There's an inner wheel well liner here too, so you're not going to get that paint chip uh, like you see in a lot of vehicles where the paint's exposed. Uh, moving to the back, lockable tailgate, backup camera, rear corner uh, steps for the bumpers, eight and four pin plug, class five uh, tow hitch. And then uh, moving up here, obviously it's the crew cab model. We'll show you the back seat now and then we'll delve into the front seat. Uh, but nice spacious back seat. Those seats do flip up. It's got a fold down uh, padded console uh, in the center to kind of break up the back seat. Um, and then of course it brings us to our driver's seat. What we'll do is we'll pop the hood, talk about the motor quick, and then we'll finish up on the inside. Okay, so just under the hood here, of course, it's got the Vortec 6-liter V8 engine. It's paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the oil in it is Dexos grade RAN. It was required, so rest assured that engine's been looked after since day one. And as mentioned earlier, we do have a full record of the service history for the vehicle. Let's go inside the cab and show you some more things. Okay, so inside the cab here, we have a full power driver's seat. Power windows, power mirrors, of course, and uh, power door locks. On the key fob, we got keyless entry as well as factory remote vehicle start. So it's an adaptive start. So when we start, whether it's a day like today where it's plus 30 or minus 30, the vehicle's automatically going to recognize the outside temperature and get the climate control blowing uh, to get it back to kind of a 22 or a room temperature inside the cab without you having to set that up. So I do like that feature and the vehicle does have that. Uh, just hopping into the vehicle, a couple quick things. Uh, there's front WeatherTech floor mats on both sides. Of course, we have our four wheel drive, uh, full factory trailer tow package with the factory uh, brake control, fog lamps, uh, steering wheel audio controls, uh, driver's information center. We'll light this up for you guys. So you can kind of see, but it's a, a digital driver's information center that I can control with the arrows on the screen here. Cruise control, of course, the GM famous tow haul mode with the manual shift if you decide to select it yourself. Dual zone automatic climate control. So this, you can just set a temperature, select it, or do uh, duals side by side, and it'll maintain that automatically. Up on the radio, it is full touchscreen. Uh, it will feature gesture control. That sort of thing. We have AM, FM, XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which will obviously you transfer your maps to your phone. If you want to use Nav, it'll, it'll show on the screen, which is kind of neat. Text messaging, obviously Bluetooth for music in your phone. And then, of course, the uh, app button, too, because you can uh, have Wi-Fi hooked up to the vehicle and download apps such as the Weather Network, Audible, or audio books, etc. Um, OnStar, sunglass holder up here programmable garage door buttons and then of course because it's got the bench seat you get spots to sit six people up here um, way down here it's a little tricky to see but it does have a inverter built into the vehicle as well as storage in a 12 volt up there and then tucked away in the console here we have a usb port and then of course there's a, a little divider tray Oops, if we snap that back in place a little divider tray to kind of sort sort of stuff so other than that that's basically the truck uh if you have any questions give us a shout or email us on the website we'll uh chat with you soon